Y'all about to see me with a new body. A new body. A new body. took my shower i'm already dressed i just got a robe on and let me see if i can show you guys what i got on this pack is robe on and this is what i want them to put me in i just got this robe on and this <laughs> my <gown. laughs> why are you laughing this is funny my face feels dry as hell because I can't put anything on it. Um, I use the I use the Heba cleanse. I was it's about to be my turn. Oh. I'm wearing the new Yeezy collection. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it's my little sister. I am. I showered with the Heba cleanse because they told me, and then I went in with the Dow soap also just to be on the safe side. And I showered and I put nothing on, but I did spray some rose water on my face just to, it didn't really do anything, but just, so it has something. Um, and yeah, and I just put it like, I think they said nothing, but I put a little bit of this on my lips because I can't walk around chat lips, dry face. I can't do that for the next. 30 minutes or whatever so i don't know i'm bringing this blanket this is my heated blanket but they have to plug it in this is my heated blanket oh i always set up the bed for when i get back um so right here y'all i'm gonna show y'all how i made the bed okay i use like um shower liners and the puppy pee pads whatever you call them i added another sheet on top of the sheets that the airbnb had so they wouldn't um get any blood or any fluids or anything on their stuff and y'all i put a lot down like <laughs> three layers because i was not trying to get a cleaning fee or like they charge you a cleaning fee anyway but blood and stuff all over their stuff you know and it, you clearly see everything in this room is white so yeah i was just trying to make sure that this bed is covered fully the sides everything and i still ended up getting something on the side when I was like trying to get up to go to the bathroom so it didn't matter <laughs> what I did didn't even matter But this is my heated blanket. I don't know if they're even going to plug it in. So I have to figure that out if they're going to even plug it in. And. But yeah, I'm nervous. I've been like, I'm so nervous. I've been pooping all morning. And I have to take a drug test when I get there, but I've been pooping and peeing. So I don't know how they're going to get some pee out of me. But we're going to see. Um. I hope they, you know, something so they can get the little pee or whatever. But, yeah, so I'm ready. I don't know if I should, because this bag is so big. And I'm trying to look through the emails that they sent me and all the paperwork and say what they said about bringing stuff. I think that's where they said don't bring a lot because of everything that's going on. So, I have this bag that's like my weekend bag. I'm going to put my blanket in. I think I'm going to bring it so I can put my blanket in it. And all my stuff that I have on has to go in there, so... Yeah, I'm going to see you guys when I get to the facility. Um, other than that, I'm ready. I'm nervous, but I'm ready. Oh, I'm so nervous, though. It's about to happen. I'm so excited. Okay, so, so y'all, 
I'm supposed to be there at 11. I don't know exactly what time they're going to take me into surgery. I hope they don't have me sitting, me sitting back there for long, but you never know. So, um, yeah. But I'll be back soon. I'll see y'all with a new body. <laughs> a new body. Okay, bye. So, I'm here, Unique, and I'm freaking out. My mom, mommy, say hi. I'm freaking out and she's talking about why am I crying because I'm nervous okay. it's 10 53 I'm supposed to supposed to go in at 11 is this a pimple it's because I didn't wash my face I'm gonna leave the car at 10 55 to go inside um so, I'm really nervous. I don't know if I'm about, I, I came in what I want them to put me in. So, yeah, I came in what I want them to put me in because um, I don't want to have all this extra stuff. Where are my shoes? So. I'm f okay. I'm all right. I look crazy as hell, but um, I'm in the back. I do not like this thing that's open. Um, I'm in the back, and I am prepared. Pressed out already. I don't know how long I'm gonna be sitting in here. She said she'll be back. She's waiting on the results. I guess for like the pregnancy stuff and test and stuff, but I'm not pregnant and I don't do drugs, so I'm not worried about that. Um then I'm supposed to get on a Zoom meeting with Dr. Fisher. Because of everything that's gonna say it's a Zoom meeting. We got to talk to him and stuff like that and everything. And then He's going to come in and mark you up. And if you have any other questions, you can ask him then. And then after that, I think I'm going in. But I asked how many people was going today and stuff. Like how many people was. They said they had a mommy makeover today. So that's like the longest surgery, I think. And then they had. I think she said. Some BBLs and a boot. A boot. She was telling me what was on schedule. So, like, so I was asking how many people does he do in today and stuff like that. She said like five people. So. Which is actually pretty good. It's not a lot on him. And I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Uh, well, five, twelve, well, six, something like that. I think the time before I got to record. I'm with the time. So that's about the time it is. I've only been here for an hour, which is not bad at all. I came back. I missed some paperwork. I had to refill out. I had to take a pregnancy test, drug test, blood pressure, all that stuff. So. I'm ready and excited. I have a lot to meet Dr. Fisher for the first time. Like, you know, just you see somebody so long on like social media, but you finally meet them, you're like, oh my god, you're so excited. So, um, we're gonna see. I'm excited. I just can't wait. I'll see you guys after surgery. It's now two o'clock and I'm still sitting here. Um, I'm getting a little irritated because no one has came back and said anything. Like you know, I just feel like they shouldn't do this to people. I just feel like if you tell me to come at a certain time, he should be ready. You tell me dress, I shouldn't be waiting no more than an hour. Two hours tops. It's been three hours since I've been here. Um, so I guess I'm on glasses. It's been three hours since I've been here. Like, I'm probably not feel like I'm not gonna get out here till like seven o'clock. I don't want to be waiting that long, so I want to be here all day. I want to get in and get out. I really wish I came in the morning, but 
if you can and if possible request a morning appointment because i know they do sometimes about cases like what they have but i don't want to be here all day it's not like a whole bunch of them is in the room just talking i wish i understood spanish i'm gonna learn spanish like really learn because I can understand certain things, but other than that, full blown conversations. I'm just sitting back here, and I'm the only person back here, unless there's somebody in the room across. I don't know, but I'm the only one back here, instead of the nurses or whatever. But I'm like, did they fucking forget about me? I hope I'm not last, because don't come at eleven o'clock and be sitting for five hours. I'm gonna be pissed. Like, I'm really upset. I'm already getting irritated. So, I'm about to find out what's going on. Hey, everybody. Um, I was supposed to come back last night, but I, it wasn't, I wasn't in pain. I was just tired, and I'm comfortable. My butt is, like, the only thing that's like kind of in, I guess you could say, pain. It's just really, 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 really sore. But, um, I don't know if you guys can see it through the blanket, but I look good. I'm excited. I'm so happy. Um, I did wait a while. I think he came in at like four or like three o'clock and, um, and Steve just came in after him. He mocked me up and Steve came in. They came and got me, put me on the table. And the next thing I know, I was waking up in recovery. So, um, I seen Dr. Fisher after I woke up. He was like, you look great. Um, you know, everyone was telling me, I look great. You look so good. But I was so cold, like. The shivering ain't no joke, but they think they had me, they kept me a little bit longer because my heart rate was running so fast. So, um, I've been drinking my water, which is, the water thing is the worst because I got to pee every fucking 30 minutes. And at one point I just said, fuck it, I'm peeing when I'm laying, I'm not. I got up the bed line so much, I'm like, it'll be fine. I'm peeing when I'm laying because I can't keep getting up. Um, I just walked around with my sister and I came back to lay back down. Um, I walked for like 20 minutes. I'm about to eat some pineapples. Yeah. Do you want them cut up or do you want them like cut? It. You want them cut up? Yeah. Make sure you wash them all first. Um, I'm about to eat some fruit. Mom wants to go get my prescription because last night I didn't get out of there until almost eight something. Um, and then uh, all the stuff was closing and they saying they didn't have any. So that sucks. My lips are dry and I hate it. Um, I don't even know if you guys can like really, really hear me, but I got a massage, my first massage today at 11 o'clock. So I went on and come back with my Percocet because I'm taking that Percocet, the Tylenol. The Tylenol is not really, it works for a little bit and then I start to feel it really right now it's coming back, so. But I'll keep you guys updated for sure on everything, all right? So I'm still, um, still post off day one. I had my massage earlier. It only really hurt where the drain is. Um, it wasn't a long massage. It was like maybe what was it like thirty minutes, ma? Forty. Like forty-five minutes. Yeah. She said tomorrow. I think it'll be longer, and we'll do a lot more. I think tomorrow they're gonna have me seal my butt. I'm not gonna do that because. My booty hurt. Like, it really hurts. Um, They gave me Oxy. I took one earlier today, right before. I took one at, like, 10. And I took one at... Something to give me one month. Four? What time is it right now? Yeah, around four. Yeah, I took another one at four. Because I was in a lot of pain. But I realized when I lay down for a long time, that's when I get... That's when I get in a lot of pain when I try to get up. 
But if I'm standing up and I'm walking around and I'm moving, I'm not in that much pain. So the only thing that really hurts is where he put the fat at. My stomach doesn't really hurt where I got life force section. That doesn't really hurt unless somebody touches it. But like standing up and stuff, that don't hurt. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys my body yet. So I'm going to show it to you guys now. I have a massage tomorrow at 5.30 in the evening, which is kind of late. I really wish it was earlier, but it is what it is. Let me show you my body. I haven't been draining a lot, which is, they said is good. So this is my body. This is from the other side, the other side. Yeah, my booty is big. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the back, stop laughing, mom. The other side. And back to the front. So he did a really good job. I told him I didn't really want hip hips. And he gave me exactly what I was looking for. I got him a nice lat so it looks natural. Like this looks natural. I do have like rolls on my back. He told me that I had like excess skin. Um he said he can't really do anything about that, but he said he's got as much fat as possible. Um but yeah, so I, this is my brand new five. I bought two Fajas. Like I said, it was only $120, right, Ma? Mm -hmm. So I recommend getting another Faja after your massage. Or why you mean you go for your first massage? Because my Faja was filthy. It was filthy. But that was because I was peeing in it and I didn't care because I couldn't get up. Yeah, you had a lot of blood. A lot, and of, drainage. a lot of drainage. I had a lot of, like, it was draining not inside of the drain, but it was draining, like, just out of my incisions and stuff.